All right, guys, I'm gonna give you some key support resistance levels to pay attention to for Bitcoin. If you watched yesterday's video, uh, this one right here, I showed you how I found this red line, which I think is the top for this bull trap. Nothing more than a short squeeze. Uh, if you wanna watch this video, put a link up to it now. I made a tweet about this, guys. It's February 4th. I said next major upside target to watch is this red line right here. That's that red line I mentioned in that video, which I showed you how I found it. And you can see what happened. We pushed up, we got rejected at it twice now on the daily. So again, this is very strong resistance. I think it's very possible we're topped out here to drop. Uh, this is the G1 chart. I just want to show you on this chart, this is that same red line right here. I just want to show you that the RSI is overextended and you can see the bars up here are getting pretty high on the MACD. Now, typically I would say, yeah, there's possibly have more upside, but because we're at this key resistance level, which again, I made very clear why I expect this to be the top, I think it's more likely we have a drop. I will say this again though, if we do get above 42,000 in hold support, well let's say 41,747, then we have some more upside targets. And I have a lot of confluence up here around 43,300. That would be the next point to put in a short. If we drop your next major support, catch a bounce around 48,986-ish. Uh, this is the C1 chart. So I copied that FIP channel line from the G1 chart, this one here, onto the C1 chart. So if you have access to the charts, just refresh the chart. And you can see, guys, this red line has been here before price got here. Look how well it's being respected. Resistance, 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 resistance. Got a fake out, and now it's resistance again. So you can see we're trying to get above this point. Uh, the MACD on the uh, three hour, it looks like we could have some upside. We'll have to see what happens. On the daily, it looks pretty bearish. But like I said, there's confluence up top. Right here, next fifth channel line above is right here, 43,472. So again, if we push up, I think an ideal point short is around 43,300, 43,400. And again, your resistance is this red line. Again, if we drop, your next support level to watch is right here at 48,979. And your next key support level down below on the C1 chart is 38,735. Uh, this here, so this tweet I made just showing you how accurate this chart's been. You can see every time I hit it, get rejected. 42,040, hit it again at 41,895, hit it again at 41,895, hit it again at 41,833, 41,758, and 41,759. This is five hours ago. So every time you hit this damn red line, you're short and you're in profit. Uh, this here, so <clears throat> this was that same video I referenced. I said if we drop this H1 chart, your support is 41,000. What do you know? We came down and we hit it 41,000 and pushed up. Just showing you accuracy of these charts, guys. So look, if we push up, your resistance is right up here at 42,653. Again, I do have a ring up here that's around 43,700. So just letting you know, 43,000. 300, 43,700, I think 43,300 is a likely point to short. A lot of resistance above, just showing you that. A lot of confluence. If we drop, your next support level to watch. 40,747 to potentially 40,396. Notice I have these red lines here. This is possible rising wedge. That is a bearish pattern. And remember what I said about the daily on the G1 chart. It looks like it could be bearish and we're at strong resistance. If we do break the support here on 40,439, your next support level to watch is right here at 40, uh, th sorry, 38,900. So guys, the announcement. So I don't do leverage trading, but you know what? I'm going to jump on the leverage trading train and I'm going to start sharing my trades. And you guys have seen how accurate my charts are on the two hour, three hour daily. So I'm going to start creating custom charts on the 15 and 30 minute. Uh, this is going to be for whatever I'm trading. If I decide to trade Ethereum, I'm going to create custom charts for that. If it's Bitcoin, ADA, whatever, I will create these custom charts. And I will, I will let you know what leverage or what exchange I'm going to use. I'll share that with you when I figure that out. But I will be sharing it. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. 145 likes on this. I also made a post on Twitter about it. A lot of people apparently want me to share my trades. So I guess this will be kind of a signals thing. Uh, I can't, I mean, if it's if it's a YouTube video, you know, it takes time to, to put up a video. So I, that's not going to work. So I'll just make a tweet. Hey, we're at this ring on this chart. I'm going to short this point. We're at support right here. I'm going to long. So again, you know, I'll be making updates on Twitter and in Discord telling you when to short, when to long, or at least when I'm going to short and when I'm going to long. It's up to you if you want to, if you want to trade it. But again, I will, I will be doing to people who say, why don't you show your trades? Why don't, why don't you show? Why don't you use leverage? You know what? Fine, I will. And I will show you my trades. And again, I have cheat sheets. You've seen how accurate my lines are. 
Well, there's a reason they call me Lord of the Rings, guys. This is an order chart. It's my Coinbase weekly chart. Just want to show you how powerful these rings are. Yes, when you hit a line as resistance, chances are you're going to get rejected, just like I showed you in that red line on the G1 chart. If you come down to support, chances are you're going to get a bounce. So, you know, it, it can tell you when too long and when too short. The thing about rings it, are the reversal points. So rings are a cheat sheet to know exactly when too short and exactly when too long. So I'm going to hit play on this just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. So notice we came up. We did push above this point, but notice when we came back up, rejected this ring. Pushed up, got rejected. We broke above it. I hit play again. We hit this ring. Rejected. Short. You're short. This time it pushed above it, became support. Support. We pushed up. This was We got above it a bit. Came down to this ring, you're long. Came down to this ring, you're long. Again, you can't win them all, but you will win the majority of them. We pushed up, look what happened, got rejected at this ring, down we came, push up this ring, short, and again, just showing you how these charts played out, this is Bitcoin. Uh, this is a chart I created a while back, this is January 7, 2020, showing you how you can use rings to know when to long and short. And I made it very clear when I created this chart, if we drop, this is where you long. I, and again, if you understand how I create these charts, these rings are just, they're money makers. I knew that if we came down, a, and again, if you go back and see the whole chart, it only goes back so far in a published chart. But I knew for a fact if we drop, this is where it'd be support, all right? And this would be resistance. So if I hit play, watch what happens. Came down, bam, to the tick. That's where you long. And we pushed up. We got above this point. And right now, this is where it's at. You see, this was support. But I'm just showing you the power of rings. And again, these are on the daily and the hourly. Imagine how accurate and how fast you can make trades on the 15 or 30 minute. This is, uh, right here is Amazon. And I was giving you points. I was saying, look, this yellow ring is resistance, this orange ring is resistance, and this white ring. And it was giving you downside targets as well. But watch what happens when you push up. This yellow ring, and again, when you look at the chart to the left, you understand why, but this was an ideal point to short. Notice we hit a FIP channel line, but the ring was a reversal point. We came down, and look, rings for downside targets have an arrow pointing this white line or this white ring this was your buy point right here and then we pushed up uh, this here is Facebook just showing you how accurate these charts are guys when you have rings you really can predict uh, where price will go and when, when it will reverse so I gave you your, your downside targets and your upside targets let's see how this played out so you pushed up bam you short it you come down to the ring, you long it. You come up to the ring, you short it. You came down to the ring, you long it. You come up to the ring, you short it. Long it, short it. Came down here, we found support on the blue ring, pushed up. So again, just showing you how accurate these rings are. Notice we topped out at this next yellow ring above. So what I'm going to do is create, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to choose what I'm going to trade. So if I want to trade Ethereum, I'm going to create some custom charts for Ethereum, probably two, probably one or two on the 15 minute and the 30 minute, you guys will have access to the live charts. And then I'll, I'll say, hey, load up this particular chart, either Ethereum or if it's Litecoin or BCH or Bitcoin, whichever one I'm trading, then you guys will get basically signals. I'm saying, okay, I'm shorting. And then you, if you guys want to short, you short. If you want to long, you long. But I'm just going to show you how accurate these charts are. And with, with rings, guys, you really can know when to get in and when to get out. So that is the plan, guys. When I pick the exchange I'm going to use, I'll share that with you um, when that time comes. But I just want to make you aware that I'm going to start using leverage and showing you my trades, guys. So you say, you know, you, you, you call these calls, but we want to see you play them. So that's what's going to happen. If you do want to sign up, get access to these charts. Uh, again, I, I'm going to have the charts available on the website. And with Twitter and Discord, I'll tell you which charts to load and tell you where I'm going to be longing and shorting. But if you do want access to charts, guys, the website's optorcrypto.com. I have a link pinned in the first comment in the description. Just remember, guys, so I'm going to give you some key support just levels just to make sure you know. If we push up, I think a likely point too short is 43,300 to 43,400. Ideal point to short, a lot of confluence. If we come down, 38,986 would be a great point too long. Uh, again, if we cannot get above 41,656, I think it's very possible we have some downside. Just seeing the uh, MACD and RSI getting topped out at this point, it does look like that we might have some downside. We'll have to see how this plays out. And then the, uh, this is C1 chart, again, 43,400, a lot of confluence, guys. 43,300, 43,400, next point too short. And let's see, the H1 chart. So again, we'll watch 42,653. 
and if we drop in export is 40,725 and 38,905. Guys, that's it. Uh, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.